the best live or retire cheap in paradise locations in the world 2019. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Here is my list of the best live or retire cheap in paradise locations in the world. I've been to all of the places on my list and here it is. In order to qualify for being on my list, a place has to be one I would want to live in for at least a year, and it has to be significantly cheaper to live there than the US, Canada, or Europe. Uh, travel cheap to paradise while you build your online business, write your first novel, or retire early and enjoy this amazing world of ours. Travel the world and live on less than $20 a day in some paradise locations. Once you have the idea about how much cheaper it is to live around the world, you may just be jumping on a jet and flying off to paradise. You may also be quitting your job earlier than you thought and following your dreams because you don't need as much money as you thought to retire or travel the world. Travel cheap to reduce the stress on your startup business or life. You see, many new businesses fail just because they run out of money before the income matches the expenses. Travel cheap to assure your new life will succeed. Or if you're retiring, travel cheap to make sure you don't run out of money before you run out of time. Or if you're writing your first novel, travel cheap to make sure you get it published before you run out of money. All of these strategies require you to reduce your overhead. There are two ideas you may need to, to make this work. You need to learn all the travel hacks uh, to save money, and you may need to create a remote job or income stream to help pay for your travels. Both of those are discussed in my ebook. Uh, there's a, a link here, grab a free copy of my ebook. People always ask me, how can you afford to travel so much? I have a better question. How can you afford to stay home? Hey, Dan Vagabond Buddha here. Click the link above here to get your free ebook that uh, describes how to save money as you travel around the world and how to make money online with a remote job or business. Click that link. You might be amazed how little it will cost you to live in some parts of the world. I've been traveling the world since 2007, and I'll bet I spend less money living in some of the world's most beautiful places than you spend living at home. Travel cheap and you won't need to wait to start living your dreams. I have visited 65 countries at the time of this edit in 2019. In 2016, I started compiling the costs as I go. But I will populate this with more data as I move around the planet. It's now 2019. The below estimates quoted from my travels before 2016 are just estimates from my memory. There's a table of all the places I'm recommending, and those are the links with estimated costs. And click any of the below links to see pictures and more information about how to travel in the respective destinations. I was there on the date shown in each post. Although I've visited or lived in 65 countries in my life, only 18 of those countries had prices significantly lower than the US and are arguably nicer or nice enough to call paradise. For each destination, I estimated the cost of living there for a month for food, lodging, and transportation for low, medium, and high budget travelers. A low budget traveler is more likely to stay in a backpacker hostel, eat low priced food and ride public transportation. A medium budget traveler is likely to stay in a cheap hotel but also service apartments or furnished apartments like Airbnb and a hostel from time to time. A high budget traveler will spend more time in service apartments, spend more money on food and use a taxi more than a medium or low budget traveler. Hey, Dan here, Vagabond Buddha. If you'd like our uh, best places in the world to live or retire cheap, the list with all the clickable links of all the places uh, where you can live or retire cheap, click that link right there and it'll take you to our webpage. At the bottom of this page, there's a monthly multiplier that shows the multipliers I use to convert each type of daily expense, such as food, lodging, and transportation 
into monthly numbers. If you start clicking the below links for each destination I recommend in the 18 countries, you'll see my pictures and videos of when I was there and the year I visited. Basically, a low-budget traveler will have a high multiplier for low-budget expenses, and a high-budget traveler will have a high multiplier for high-budget expenses. But first, here is the monthly daily cost of Paradise Table. These are the actual places that I've visited and represent my actual observations. I'll try to keep the daily monthly costs updated so you'll know where to travel cheap. Uh, you can click on any of the links below to read and see the pictures I took while visiting there along with discussion of things to do in the destinations and what things cost. I started Vagabond Buddha in 2016. Before that I posted my travels on my private travel, travel blog I shared only with family and friends. There's a link here to that previous uh, blog in case you want to see my first eight years of travel. Um, warning, I'm not offering you these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and this post, uh, of, of each post. Your costs will likely be drastically different if significant inflation or deflation occurs or the market changes after the date of the post, which is labeled age data. I will not update these numbers until I'm on the ground again in each place, if ever. Further, the table is for one person and does not include excursions, entertainment, or alcohol. And see the bottom of the page for further limitations. Um, and finally, you should understand that I'm a sophisticated traveler and it's likely that I know how to travel cheaper than you. That's partly why I'm recommending that you buy or forgive me, that you get a free copy of my ebook. There's a link provided here on the page, and there's, uh, it's also on the, um, you'll find it, uh, a teaser card on this YouTube video will come up overhead that says free ebook. Okay, estimated cost of living in paradise. There's 18, 19 countries here. I just added Portugal. We were just there in December. Um, and, um, of 2018, it's now March of 2019. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, in case you're wondering where I am today at the time of recording this video. Okay, Mexico, there's a number of places here. Um, I really love Mexico, and they range from uh, 16, let's see, $16, I think is the lowest one on here, to uh, uh, all the way up to a high of $68 per day. Um, and there's like 20 odd locations listed here. Just click the link and come look. Uh, some of my favorites are Tulum, Playa del Carmen, um, Guanajuato, Querétaro, Oaxaca. I'm a big fan of Oaxaca. Mareda, lovely place. There's just a bunch of them on here. Puerto Vallarta on the Pacific Coast if you're into uh, being near the ocean um, on the Pacific side. Uh, Indonesia, Bali, Indonesia runs 30 to 65. In Thailand, there's five places listed uh, that are recommended for travel cheap to paradise, uh, ranging from $15 a day up to uh, $48 a day. And those are uh, a lovely choice. Thailand always is. Uh, Vietnam, um, big fan of Vietnam now. Um, the three I recommend, uh, Nha Trang, Hanoi, and Hoi An, uh, ranging from $11 on the low end per day in Nha Trang up to $42 a day in Hoi An. Um, all of those have a low to high range. Hoi An started at $24. Malaysia, uh, Borneo Jungle, Sipadan, if you're a scuba diver, Penang is a lovely island. And the Perinthian Islands are beautiful, and of course, Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia runs from about $12 a day to uh, the high here is $53 per day in uh, Sipadan, which is a big scuba diving spot. Okay, um, Nicaragua, there's a, uh, on here, Granada is lovely. Guatemala, Antigua, Granada is 26 to 42. Antigua, Guatemala is 18 to 37 a day. In Colombia, I really enjoyed Medellin from 28 to 57 a day. 
depending on your taste for spending. And in Santa Marta, Colombia, 36 to 67 per day, a lovely place. Ecuador is a great place to retire. Um, in Cuenca, um, on the low end, 13 a day, up to 42 in Cuenca. And then uh, Quito is 34 to 52 per day. Atavalo is lovely at 24 to 40. And then the Galapagos, which you really can't stay very long. Um, uh, so I won't even bother telling you that. But we've stayed there um, for about $40 a day. I guess it was close to 50, um, but there's a range here you can see. In Peru, um, Arequipa was my favorite. It ran from 16 to $50 per day. Barranco and Limba is really nice. Cajamarca, uh, Barranco is 17 to 35 per day. Cajamarca is 20 to 33. Um, uh, Buenos Aires, a little more expensive, starting around 40 to $60 a day. Um, Nepal, Kathmandu, I really enjoyed for 26 to $46 a day. In India, at the beach, Goa is nice, 25 to 65 a day. Uh, Kashmir, if you're a skier, uh, you can ski uh, the Himalayas for about 65 a day. Uh, Rishikesh, if you want to go join an ashram or visit for a month, it's 27 to 47 a day. Dollars. Uh, Tallinn, Estonia is lovely from about 34 to 58 per day. In the Ukraine, my favorite was Lviv. It was uh, ran from about 28 to 40 dollars a day. Um, Poland really loved Gdansk and Warsaw. Gdansk was 22 to 36 a day, depending on if you're a low end or uh, more medium or high end traveler. And Warsaw was 32 to 47 per day. As I said, we just returned a, a trip, a 15-month trip that uh, ended in uh, Morocco uh, and actually Spain, but before that we were in Portugal, and I would recommend Lisbon, Sintra, Porto, or Coimbra for retiring. Really, Portugal is a gorgeous place, um, and it's uh, in Lisbon's 33 to 68 a day, Sintra is $38 to $69 a day. Porto is $34 to $53 a day. Coimbra is $39 to $55 a day. Uh, Puerto Rico, uh, it's been a while since I've been there, 2014, but at that time, $28 to $39 a day. And in Turkey, Antalya on the Mediterranean is a lovely place. I was in there in 2008. It ran about $32 to $52 per day. As I said, there's only 19 countries on this list because they have to be cheap and lovely. Um, and those are my picks. Uh, but there's a total of 65 countries you can find on my webpage or uh, my pr old uh, private webpage or on Vagabond Buddha. Um, feel free to browse around and check it out. There's more information here on the webpage about our monthly multiplier and how it works. Um, if you have questions about that or anything else, please let me know. Um, there's one thing I wanted to look at here, a world traveler versus a vacationer. When you're on the vacation mindset and only get 10 days off per year for your vacation, you probably spend more money than what I'm saying here. And you come home 10 pounds heavier with $2,000 bill on your credit card for a 10 day vacation. When you switch to a world traveler mindset, you'll learn how to travel cheaper than you would living at home. And meaning you won't be spending money like a drunken sailor on vacation. You can relax and just enjoy your new life on the road. You have to moderate your food and drink and lifestyle so you'll stay alive and within budget. You will be seeing the world, but you can relax because you won't be trying to do it all in 10 days. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thanks for listening to our video. Uh, please visit vagabondbuddha.com for this and all the other information on these two areas. Retire cheap in paradise and make money online so you can pay for it. Thanks for listening. Uh, travel cheap and your choices will multiply before your eyes. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Thanks for listening. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? <laughs>